Voronoi diagram is a pattern used to divide a plane into irregular shapes. It works by assigning each pixel to a point closest to it. We can then color the pixels based on which point they belong to, or just draw some boundaries between the regions. I'm going to start by creating a raw image, resetting its position and making it 100 by 100 pixels. I will create a new script called Voronoi Diagram and assign it to the raw image. For this example, it is necessary to include the UnityEngine.UI library. I begin by creating an integer field which stores the size of the image. Inside of the awake method, I'm going to fetch the raw image component and get its size and assign it to my field. I'm going to create a method called generate diagram. Inside of this method, I'm going to create a new texture 2D object and pass through the size of my image. I can now loop through all of the pixels of the texture and give them a color. Just to make sure everything works so far, I will give them a random value between 0 and 1. This will create a texture where every pixel gets colored randomly between black and white. Now I call the apply method of my texture and assign it to the raw image. Since everything works fine, I can now erase this code. In order to have a more uniform image in the end, I don't want the cell points to generate randomly across the image. Instead, I want to first divide my image into a grid and then generate the points randomly inside of the grid cells. This will make sure that in the end, most of the regions are more or less equal in size. I will now create another integer field which will hold the size of my grid. For now, let's make it 10. Since my image is 100 by 100 pixels and is divided into a 10 by 10 grid, this will make a single grid cell 10 by 10 pixels. I can calculate that value by dividing the image size by the size of the grid. I'm going to make a new method for generating the points. I'm going to have the same number of points as the number of grid cells so I can create a nested loop which goes over all of the cells. The position of any given point is the position of its grid cell plus a random value between 0 and 10 since my cells are 10 pixels wide. To store the colors I will create another two-dimensional array and assign random colors from a pool of possible colors. This is my result so far, and if I regenerate the image a couple of times you can see that in every image, every cell contains exactly one point in a random location. Now that we have all of the points, we can start generating the pattern. A very important thing to keep in mind is that we don't need to check the distance to every point for every pixel, since it can only be closest to the point surrounding it. We first create another nested loop going over all of the pixels, and then another one for looping through the neighboring cells. The values in the inner nest loop will go between negative 1 and 1, since we want to check the 9 grid cells close to the pixel. We store the nearest distance we have found so far, as well as the index of the cell which contains the closest point. After going through all 9 of the neighboring cells, we have our closest cell, and we assign our pixel the color of that cell. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to expose the grid size parameter in the inspector so that we can edit it without changing the script. Also, since the image is currently fairly pixelized, I can increase the image size to something like 500 by 500 pixels and also reset the scale to 1 by 1. Now, if I run the script, you can see that the image is much more clear and sharp. And if I change the grid size parameter, the size of the shapes also changes. Finally, I'm going to add this line of code to save the image as a PNG file. If I now run the script, a new file should be created in the assets folder of the project, which I can see if I open the project files in the explorer. 